Hey guys, it's KJ. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're coming back, as always, thank you for coming back. Today I have another Disney video for you guys. So of course that means I had to have my husband, John. Uh, today we are going to be talking about our top five favorite Disney World, Walt Disney World attractions. So not the ones that we think like you have to hit if you're there for a day or an hour or whatever. These are just our personal five favorites. My favorite attractions. Do you want to go first? Sure. Mine Train would be number five on my list. It's just one of the smoothest, coolest roller coasters there is. You get to sing Hi Ho on the way up. <laughs> um, it's got a little itty bitty drop for those who can't handle big drops. Um, and it's just an it's all, all around great experience. Um, we rode it for the first time together. Um, and it's one of those few rides because- No, I rode it before you. I did ride it before uh, you. Okay, we didn't ride together first. <laughs> I rode uh, with Courtney and Eleni. Oh, okay. Well, my first experience was with my wife, and um, it's just it's just a great ride. For me, number five is also at Magic Kingdom. My fifth is actually Dumbo. I know it seems like a kiddie ride, but there is just something about it. I don't know if it is nostalgia or what, but I absolutely love Dumbo. Dumbo is so like nostalgic Disney. It's like you think of the carousel and you think of Dumbo when you think of Disney World, and it's just, it's such an iconic ride. Yeah, so that would definitely be in my top five. I just, there's just something about it. And now in Walt Disney World, they have two of them. So it just kind of cuts into the waiting time. But um, we always get a fast pass for that, even though it's a kiddie ride, because I just have to ride Dumbo. And it's by far one of the best views in the park. And oh, when yeah. you take that, when you take Dumbo all the way to the top and you can see some great views of the park. I'd also add in terms of the view, if you ride it when the fireworks are going off, it is amazing. So it's a quick ride, but you just get a view that you cannot get anywhere else in the park. So moving on to number four, my number four now, we're moving on over to Disney Hollywood Studios and it's Fantasmic. And Fantasmic, no matter how many times I've seen it, it still gives me chills. It's about a 25 to 30 minute show that is on water. They do projections on on water that they kind of shoot up. It's tough to even describe. If you haven't, if you haven't done it, it it's, it's one of those Disney must-dos that you just have to, you have to see it to believe it. Um, it it's a big amphitheater, seats 5,000 plus, I would say, maybe even more than that. Yeah, it's, it's big, it seats a lot. Maybe 5,000. It's really big. But side note, if you don't have kids or you have older kids, go for the second show because there are always less people. Everyone that has little kids, Little, little kids, they're always in that first one. And the other thing about the second show is a lot of times it will compete as that is ending. The fireworks will be starting. So if you're looking to do both, you probably have to go with the first show because uh, mm -hmm. you'll miss the fireworks. But Fantasmic, definitely my number four favorite rides or attractions at Walt Disney World. My number four is also in Hollywood Studios, which we did not plan. It is Tower of Terror. Now, here's the thing about Tower of Terror. We went to Disneyland twice in 2017 but in summer of 2017 we were able to go on guardians of the galaxy ride which is what used to be tower of terror so right. we never rode the old tower of terror in disneyland because we went when we went in march of 2017 it was, it was closed because it was becoming yeah. guardians of the galaxy yeah, guardians of the galaxy breakout yep so we will do a disneyland top five favorite attractions in another video so i won't get ahead of myself there but because of that ride Tower of Terror will always hold a special place in my heart, and for the longest time it was my absolute favorite ride in Walt Disney World, but now that I've been on Guardians, it kind of moved back to number four. So it's still a great ride. I absolutely love the sensation of like going up and down. John does not. <laughs> um, if I have a picture, I'll insert it oh, oh. here. <laughs> I'm always like this, right? That's usually my Yes, face. John never looks like he's having a good no. time. He's always holding onto the rail on the side. We have to go, no matter what, if we ride it. John has to be on the end holding one of those right. handles. And I try to hold his hand, no. He's mm. just not about it. So that still is one of my top five favorite rides. It was number one and got moved down to number four after going on Guardians of the Galaxy. My number three favorite ride and attraction at Walt Disney World brings us to Disney World's most recently built park, which is Animal Kingdom, even though that's now 20 years old now. Um, and that brings us to Everest. I used to not be a fan of roller coasters at all. Mm -hmm. Um, and Everest was one of the ones that I was like, all right, I'm going to try this. It looks like a fun ride. I want to see what this Yeti looks like. I'm going to do it. The first time, well, the first time John and I went to Disney World together, John did not ride it. 
I wrote it by myself and I twice. Waited, while I waited John from watched. down below as she came down the mountain. And then, did you finally write it when we with Mike and Michelle? Yeah. So Mike and Michelle, two of my best friends, our good friends, we went with them in November 2016. And my friend Mike kept telling John, like, you can ride this. Like, it's not that bad. You can go on it. And finally, he went on. And now you're hooked. And now it's my third favorite ride in all of Walt Disney World. It's smooth as can be. Mm -hmm. um, going backwards is such a thrill. You feel like you might even be going upside down backwards. But it's just a really sharp turn. Um, you kind of go sideways almost. It's really an awesome ride, um, and it used to be my favorite ride in Animal Kingdom, but that's foreshadowing what's coming next. <laughs> but that's my number three ride um, in Walt Disney World is uh, Everest. Uh, I know you love that one too, though. I do, but it didn't make my top five. So my number three is Back to Magic Kingdom. This may surprise some people because it's not a thrill ride. Now, mind you, I love thrill rides, but there's just something special about this next ride, and that is the People Mover. Now, you could kind of consider it a roller coaster if you want. There are different cars, and you're on a track, and honestly, it really is like a roller coaster, except you're going flat and very slow. It's in Tomorrowland in Walt Disney World, and it just takes you through the different rides. There's almost never a wait. Once in the blue if it's super crowded you'll have to wait but really it's just a walk-on ride if you want to get off your feet it's just the perfect ride to just sit and relax and don't be embarrassed to ask for the front on people mover oh yeah it seems like why you're doing that but apparently the cast members there have been asked mm -hmm. before so yeah we like to ride in the front because then there's nobody yeah. in front of you not yeah. that there's really much Open to views. see yeah but it's just you kind of it's just a better view and it's just more enjoyable that way i mean there's no bad seat but we just prefer the front so that'd be my third favorite ride not a thrill ride but it's my favorite third favorite number two is the one of the newest rides in all of walt disney world and that's the flight of passage the avatar ride the special effects that they use on this ride combined with the movements that they can simulate in the chair slash avatar that you're supposed to be riding it is spectacular the 3d special effects are amazing you know, you have that fourth dimension of where they're blowing air in your face and things like that. It is just so surreal. It's a thrill ride and you never have to really leave your seat. It is just spectacular. It's tough to even put into words because it's so cutting edge and has broken such new ground that I've never experienced a ride like it. So my number two ride is the Haunted Mansion. I absolutely love the Haunted Mansion. Fun fact about Haunted Mansion, when we did the tour, this was pointed out to us. In the very beginning of the attraction, when you walk into the dead center of the room, if you look up when it thunder and lightning, well, it's just maybe thunder, but it, it, the light flashes above you, there's actually a hanging, well, it looks like a hanging body. Obviously, it's not a real hanging body, but it was just something that really took me by surprise because it didn't really seem like it was on Disney brand, but I thought that was pretty cool, and they have it in Disney World and Disneyland. I thought it was cool because I didn't know about it now because yeah. there was like a dead body. <laughs> but I just thought it was like, oh, all these years I had no idea it was there, but we didn't find out so we went on the Marceline tour in Walt Disney World. And the other thing that I really like, they we were taken through the queue on that tour. The very beginning there's the busts, the heads. If you read the stories and try to figure out who killed who, if you want to know, Look at the back of the heads too, because that will actually help you solve the riddle. We figured it out. Yeah, I was really proud when we figured that out, but that's because she gave us the hint to look at the back of the head, so check it out. If you know how it goes, let us know in the comments below. And moving along, before we get to number one, we have an honorable mention each. Um, my honorable mention is Splash Mountain. It was one of the rides that I didn't love, because again, I spoke about before, I don't really like drops. Um, which is the reason I, I don't like Tower of Terror. I've grown out of that, and now it's such a fun, long ride that I love it. And the reason it makes honorable mention is because, spoiler alert, we got engaged on Splash Mountain. Well, we can go more into detail. We plan to do a video on how we got engaged and all that, but... So anyway, so that's why Splash Mountain makes my honorable mention. For my honorable mention, I had a tough time because there are just so many rides that I love in Walt Disney World, but I decided to go to Epcot to pick my favorite or my honorable mention, and that is Frozen. And there's something about that ride. It's a newer attraction. We've waited in both the Fast Pass line, and one time we actually waited. We actually waited in the standby line. We yep. got to the front of the line. The people in front of us got on. We were the next ones to get on, and the ride broke down. And this was at night, so we were done. However, 
even though we waited the entire time, Disney did give us fast passes, so we were able to go back the next day. So we did have to wait all that time, but at least when we went back the next day, we were able to ride it with a fast pass. But I just love the ride. They take your picture. There's a tiny little drop. And I love the part the first time I rode it when Elsa just suddenly like pushes you back. I was not expecting that at all. And I just it's love- a good way uh, to get you- uh... I just love getting to ride it. Yeah, that is a great part because it was so unexpected. Mm -hmm. Even now when I know it's coming, it still throws me off a little bit. Okay, now let's move on to number one. I know you've all been waiting for my favorite ride an attraction at Walt Disney World is Slinky Dog Roller Coaster. Shocking. <laughs> Up until only, uh, I don't know, six months ago when I got to ride Slinky Dog for the first time. Well, that's why Avatar's not your favorite ride anymore. That is why. Avatar I used to be my this. favorite ride at Walt Disney World, but it has been surpassed by the Slinky Dog Roller Coaster. Now, I don't know if I'm still caught up in the euphoria of it being a new ride. I've only gotten to ride it twice, once in the daytime, once at night. At night was even cooler. It's not kitty, but it's not aggressive. It's somewhere in between, and it just thrills the whole way. I love dogs, especially uh, hound dogs with like floppy ears. So just riding in a dachshund or whatever, whatever slinky yes. dog is supposed to be. But the dachshund. Yeah, it's it's adorable. It's fun. It's cool that it's an outdoor roller coaster. You know, they got the breeze going through your hair. It's absolutely <laughs> <laughs> whatever hair. You know, it's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I love it. It's great. I can't wait to go on Slinky Dog again. And it just leaves me completely excited for what Disney has uh, up their sleeves next for any new lands and rides that they build. My number one favorite ride in all of World Disney World is... Splash Mountain. I love Splash Mountain. It is... <laughs> It really is just such a great ride. I loved it since I was a kid. I remember going on as a kid with my family, with my cousins, my siblings, my mom. I think my dad went on too. I can't remember, but it was just so great. We still have the photo from when I was in sixth grade and when I went on it with my family. And I have photos of when John and I had been on it and the first time we took his kids on it from when he <laughs> proposed, obviously we had to buy that one. So if there's just something really special about it, I absolutely love it. I love that it's a dark ride. It gets you off your feet for a good seven, eight minutes. But no matter what, I love riding it in the daytime, at night, anytime. It's just such a great ride. So that concludes our top five favorite attractions. As you can see, John and I have a bit of a varying varying opinions on yeah. what we like. That's what's great about Disney. Everyone's got their own opinion. Yeah, there's something for everybody there. We hope you enjoyed watching our top five favorite rides. Again, not to be confused with what rides we think are ones that you cannot miss. These just happen to be our five personal favorites. So we hope you enjoyed watching. We hope you enjoyed some witty banter between the two of us. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye. See you at the park. <laughs>